Real Madrid look good, don't they? They, of course, beat Atalanta yesterday, and it's uh, killing him. For start the party, says the front page of Marca. Uh, super champion with Mbappe. I didn't even have to ask for a translation either of those, Stevie. Look so at that. Uh, front page of Ass <laughs> and Marca. It feels good if you're a Real Madrid fan at the moment. Good if you're killing Mbappe as well. We're at Real Madrid. We have no limit. I have no limit. If I can score 50 goals, it's 50. But the most important thing is to win and improve as a team because we're going to win as a team. Let's add, shall we, another winning member to our team. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, Frank LeBeuf joins us. Frank, how much has Kylian Mbappé's debut, I imagine quite a lot, uh, made the French headlines? <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm happy that he scored, but I don't get carried away by his performance. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I know that he can do much, much better, but otherwise he had one chance in the first half, but oh, we didn't see him God. enough. All right, you know? Frank, it's his first game yeah, he scored. Well, you know, oh, he's from Ireland, it. Blum it out. <laughs> this is like talking to Luis about Real Madrid. <laughs> well, Goodness I'm sorry. Are, I'm talking about... We, we, are, we are talking about football. I'm not blind by the love that I have for Kylian Mbappe. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I'm happy that he's called. If he thinks that he's going to be happy, if he does, if he has the kind of performances all season long, I won't. I know that he can do much better. I know he's capable right. of doing much better. He's a fantastic player, but I'm not, uh, I'm not convinced yet that he found his room and his place at Madrid. I, he has to work very hard. <laughs> he has to change some stuff that he didn't oh. do yesterday, um, like running back when he loses the ball, that there are some things that I want to see. I want to see Carlo printing him some defensive aspect of the game as well. I'm sure, Aid, the Madrid media has been as measured and calm and critical of Kylian Mbappe <laughs> as Frank has been. Oh, yeah, sure. absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> Mr. LeBeuf uh, is, is taking the temperature of the Madrid media perfect, to perfection. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no sense of hyperbole at all. No exaggeration. Hyperbole. No, it's, it's hyperbole. very calm. Don't and start measured. with your burly ways. No, it's hyperbole. It's hyperbole. <laughs> 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 I'm in Spain, it's hyperbole. <laughs> uh, Luis, what, what is interesting is this is exactly what Real Madrid and Florentino Perez wanted. not it? Vinicius Jr., Bellingham, and now Kylian Mbappe. All three, of course, played their part in that second goal, a second goal that now the world has seen. Yeah, exactly. I think it was uh, the perfect start against uh, a good team that probably didn't put the, the, the best performance, missing some good players. But that's what you want. That's what you all want to see. Uh, to be honest, we've been waiting for Mbappe to arrive to La Liga for quite a long time. To arrive to Real Madrid, even improve what they did last year is going to be difficult to win La Liga, to win the Champions League. Uh, but definitely, the football side, maybe we can improve it. And I think we saw just a little bit of what this Real Madrid can be during this season. So I'm really excited. I'm with the uh, uh, that I think that uh, Kylian Mbappe is still a lot to, to be improved into the game, but it's the first game, getting a goal, showing that his, his ability at some points. We all know what he can do, and we are just have to wait a little bit to find his position, to find his understanding with the rest of the team. But definitely this Real Madrid is going to be very difficult to beat. Over under 50 goals, Stevie? I'm going to see under 50. <laughs> it's quite something you have to, got to be far off. You've got to think 50. about that properly. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. It's crazy. I'm going to see 49. Right, yeah. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It's yeah. going to be 40. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just... I, 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 I don't think you can turn around and, talk, and start talking and saying I'm going to score 50. Goals. Yeah. I don't quite. I, I think he was asked, do you think you can get 50? Yeah, he probably was. That was the but, response. But you know what? He won't be a kick in the backside off it. Uh, let's see then. Yesterday, of course, Luis very confidently predicted that Barcelona uh, would win at La Liga. Let's see if Adrian has those same sort of instincts. Uh, A, do you remember your predictions? Oh, my goodness, look at that picture. Who is that? Wow. Is he in a band? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rock and roll Adrian days, isn't it? Uh, Adrian, you've got... Hey, you've got... Hey. <laughs> Go on. It was, that was the 1980s. Everyone looked like that in the 1980s, didn't well, they, Stevie? I didn't look like they that. did. Wow. Tell me wow. they did. That is, that is something. <laughs> oh. Right, Aid, a couple of interesting points. So you've got Atleti finishing ahead of Barcelona. Yeah. I do. I do. I think. I think. Uh, I think the Hansi Flick revolution is going to take some time. They've got an awfully tough start. The first first six games are really tough. I love 
what Diego Simeone is doing. I love the additions he's made right down the spine of the team. I really think they could actually push Real Madrid close. In fact, I was agonizing a little bit because, I mean, Real Madrid are so much the obvious pick, aren't they? But there are some question marks. Tony Cruz, can they, can they live without him? Uh, you know, can they afford any injuries at central defence? I mean, those are two very important positions. There's a kind of shades of the Galacticos with Real Madrid to me. So I think Atletico could really push them close. And I think Barca are, are, are trailing in third in my eyes at the moment. What's interesting is you've got Vinicius Jr. ahead of Kylian Mbappe as top goal scorer. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think all the attention is going to be on Mbappe because he may score 50 goals. But if he has three defenders on him a game, they're going to leave Vinny open. Someone's going to be the beneficiary. And I, I just think Vinny could be... I mean, they're going to interchange so much, those front three. And I think Vinny could be the one that, that benefits. Adrian, I heard rumours that when the fixture list was produced, you said you would go and move to whatever city Barcelona were playing in and it happened to be Valencia. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> you are spot on, Dan. Yeah. There was all, also the whatever country won Euro 2024 I was going to go and live in. So I was worried when England made the final. But thankfully, Spain came through for me and, and Valencia it is. And, and what, a, what, a, what a magnificent city this is. It's, it's, it's great. It's a perfect size. Football fanatics it's full of. And, and you know, a bit of history, a bit of new, a bit of green, a bit of sea, a bit of sangria. What's oh, not lovely. to love? It's, it's, it's the perfect place. Thank goodness it wasn't a Getafe, eh, Luis? Uh, Luis, any recommendations uh, <laughs> for aid <laughs> as, as he's in Valencia? <laughs> Yes, of course. I'm going to see him probably yes, tomorrow, so I'll give some tips uh, to, to go and have some good paellas. Oh, oh yeah, nice paella in Valencia. And how's, oh, the yeah. learning the, how's the learning the Spanish going, eh? Because you never really got English. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's not rapido. Put it that way. It's a little more on the, uh, in the on the lento side so far. But right, it, you yes. know, slow slow progress, slow progress, getting there, one day at uh, a time. Uh, who's uh, talking? Hey, who's who talking? <laughs> the guy spent. I don't know how many years did you spend in Madrid? How much of it, Spanish do you speak, Dan Thomas? Oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> Five years. I'm, I'm fluent. Thank you very yeah. much, Frank. Zero. Yeah, yeah. No sure. problem. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But who's asking you to pipe in? I mean, up there at the top. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you very much, Ada. It's going to be fantastic <laughs> to have you with us, of course, throughout hey. La Liga season. Uh, so we see some of the scenics from Valencia, of course, ahead of their clash against Barcelona, which will be on Saturday. Our feature game on ABC, Hansi Flicks. <laughs> it's just, well, it's just, it's just a picture of a clock. Uh, Barcelona against Valencia <laughs> then uh, is our, it's one of our feature games, of course. And then 24 hours later, it's Mallorca against Real Madrid as Kylian Mbappe looks set to make his La Liga debut against Mallorca.